Hello everyone, Maurice and welcome to Invest. Talk about investing, finance, and professional development for today's today items only. The investment top today will be Solana and Cardano. So it's been a while since I last covered both respective cryptocurrencies, but I'm getting some good feedback from my you know friends on YouTube here. So I want to you know quickly give you guys an update with respect to how we're trending so far, right? With respect to uh, starting with Cardano, knowing that the fact is green today, in you know respectively, Solano is now about one point oh two percent. So Cardano, we are currently up about one percent so far. Uh, Pretty much just trend on a sideways fashion ever since the surge that we experienced for the last couple of days so far, right? From the dollar and forty-five cents mark all the way to close to three dollars per our technical analysis, we talked about that there's a high likelihood that we will potentially reach three dollars. But it seems like that's a psychological blockage that people have, uh, and subsequently, you know, put some sell orders around that level. Whenever since then we are currently just normalizing, you know, trying on a sideways fashion, hovering on a sideways fashion. But if you look at this, this is a new territory. We have never really tested the two dollars seventy-five cents level before, nor the new territories we've been forming, right? So logically speaking, we would ideally come back down, you know, from moon basically, which was technically three dollars, to ideally the two dollars fifty cents, which you see some consolidation because that's a level of flat numbers people typically would buy at. Um, and ideally come back to the normalization zone of the dollar and eighty seven cents, which you see some substantive type of consolidation, but the duration is relatively short. That the true level is really at the yellow zone, right? The dollar and thirty four, a dollar nineteen, and dollar oh two, right? With respect to MACD, is still extremely overstretched. We're basically still up in the moon, you know, and I think the curvature is starting to form. That means that we are. We should be experiencing a, a possible sell-off coming, uh, but I do know that Cardano does have a, a catalyst coming in September with respect to the fork, um, and with with that catalyst, we might see a little bit more anticipatory pressure ahead of the specific dates, and also with respect to media expectation at the same time, right? But we have to understand that RSI and the MACD are still overbought on all levels right now, and the technicals is not in your favor in terms of risk versus reward ratio that we ideally want to be buying at a lower level obviously you don't want to buy on a premium and i'll say we are at a premium in a short-term perspective but long-term wise if you be believe in cardano you should be just buying now right because uh, if you believe in this long term why listen to me you know hold it for the next five to ten years you should be you know generate some long-term capital gains for yourself right which is a good thing um, and I think that's a, a safest bet that you will never lose money by just holding for a long term with a very sol like solid value proposition that this asset stems uh, within, right? So with respect to Solano, which is the next one we talk about, um, you can see that we've been just dragging up extremely enormously. Uh, this is a definitely a very bearish setup right now. You can see MACD is curving down right now. It's slowly forming a cross section. And once we form that cross section, that's the death cross, right? And you see that percolations ever since from the $43, $45 mark, we pumped up basically to nearly double to the $84 mark, right? Then ever since then, we've just been a leap up, up and away and firstly driven by the whales. And subsequently with a combination of mainly, I would say majority, majority of the public investors bought in at the top right here right and some people are probably losing money or uh, kind of be shaking shaking off right now um and the, the and the gap that we have formed is extremely enormous from 66 dollars all the way to 44 so that's a 22 dollars drop if we ideally drop but i think we will probably hover first around like the 50 dollars mark because 50 dollars is like a flat number again Right, but again, with respect to the yellow zone, is the ideal level you want to be buying at, right? This is the percolation, the you know the momentum was has been building ever since the surge, right? If you technically look at this, it's been like a downward wedge in a way that ever since that bottom we hit at twenty one or twenty dollars, we have been leap up up and away, and I think the timing matches with the B word summit. If you look at it, yep, exactly the B word summit ever since July twentieth. And then ever since that, we see a lot of positive news on the media front. We've been, you know, driving Bitcoin and Ethereum to be going up respectively. But obviously, all the altcoin or mid cap coins have also been driv driven up as well, right? So the level that I would buy at would be the these yellow levels here. So now let's take a look at the bubble charts real quick. 
um, I think, you know, with respect to the current level right now, we are, um, you know, around the area of denial and return to normal, right? And I think we need to understand um, what is the timing for fear and capitulation, right? And I think with respect to uh, Solana, it's definitely very prominent. It looks very, very comparable to the level that we are at right now on denial. I think we might see another surge, but this will be like a bull trap, right? And then we might go back and people will ideally think that, oh, we could be returning back to normal now. Uh, and then fear will start to drive in. And then next thing you know, you're going to see a bunch of public investors selling, which if you know, there's a bunch of, you know, it's really prominent to see that there's a bunch of public investors bought in at the top level, thinking that will continue to leap up, which, you know, I don't think that's, that will be the case. Right. Um, and the whales is order have already bought in. So how likely are they going to keep surging? Right. They might see another pump, but, and then, we will see a huge drop from there, knowing the fact we have a huge gap. Cardano, same thing, right? Um, you know, with respect to the level that we at right now, uh, and also have another cheat sheet for you. You know, this is a, a just a, a little bit more colorful, if you may, right? It seems like with respect to the euphoric zone, we are at the complacency for a lot of cryptocurrencies at the moment, right? Including Ethereum, including Solana and Cardano. It seems like we are, you know, slowly leaping up, which is very comparable to, you know, the current setup that we have right now. If you look at this right now, I think it's a little bit more prominent on Solana. We are just kind of hovering on a sideways fashion, thinking that 65 or $66 is the level of identification of a substantive level. But technically, that's really not it, right? The next leap down is basically the 44, you know, at the minimum. But, you know, ideally would be the 38 to the $27 mark, right? So something to be mindful of. And next thing you know, the movie is going to start playing. And it's going to be a scary one. <laughs> Anxiety is denial and panic, right? Um, you know, comparable to the sheet that we shared with you before. Um, right here, right? So with respect to the price target, uh, apologies for this is not it. This one. So Cardano, it's... Um, it's definitely, uh, you know, risky, you know, for us to invest at the moment right now. I think a dollar twenty, a dollar fourteen, a dollar oh five would be the more ideal level that we want to weigh off for us to come back down. Solana thirty eight, thirty three, and twenty seven will be the more ideal level, and these are the substantive consolidation resistance level that we've identified so far. But again, don't listen to me if you want to be buying it, you know, right now. Um, that's up to your risk tolerance. Don't listen to me. It's ultimately your decisions, right? But I'm just telling you what I see in the chart. And I frankly don't have any feelings towards, you know, these crypto assets. You know, I'm not a hype man. And I don't think you want someone to be hyping things or tell you lies for no reason, just for the sake of their own benefits, right? I frankly don't gain anything from this. If, I, if I'm either pumping or, you know, or water downing it, any respective currencies or any assets right so hopefully this is helpful i'm just reading charts uh hopefully um you find this helpful into giving you that clarity at the same time that transparency that you're looking for into executing your price level so really appreciate you and stay tuned for things coming up take care bye